Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. Coming up on today's bulletin, there are calls for mining communities to reap more benefits from Zimbabwe's vast mineral resource base. HIV positive residents of Gogwe are appealing for support for their craft center project. King's Pool Club marched to the top of the Bulawayo Pool League. And in football, Highlanders are knocked off the top of the league. Zimbabwe has a vast mineral resource base which is benefiting large mining conglomerates but little is trickling down to affected mining communities. Jeffrey Moyo was at the Zimbabwe Alternative Mining Indaba for ATV. The Zimbabwe Environmental Law Association has expressed concern over the country's mineral resources which they said are not benefiting ordinary people. ATV spoke to the environmental lawyers at the end of a three-day workshop organized by Zela, which was dubbed the Zimbabwe Alternative Mining Endeavor. Connection to the question you've just asked me on the issues that are going on around the communities where there is mining taking place. As Zela, we are of the concern that, yes, mining is very good and we are supportive, but however, it becomes a concern when communities that are directly affected do not benefit equitably from those resources. Bobo said the mining fees pegged for community miners were exorbitant and beyond the reach of many rural folks. The environmental impact assessments that are done by the companies, communities cannot even access them because they, it's also restrictive when they go to the environmental management agency. It requires a fee, uh, most probably it's around $200, which is something they cannot afford an ordinary community just to get an EIA and reach the EIA. However, she said that there were mixed feelings towards the Zimbabwe alternative mining endeavor. I say there are mixed feelings, uh, and our recommendation has just also to say these issues should not be politicized because you'll find out that when mining takes place and the dust is there, the dust does not know which political party one does belong to. So all the impacts of mining will affect you, whether you are which party, party A or party B. So our, 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 our concern will still remain. Communities need to benefit. Mining should take place in a sustainable manner. Executive General for the Civil Society Coalition of Zimbabwe, Joshua Marufu, urged authorities to take greater care when signing mining contracts. Uh, it's not a necessity as such. It is uh, our right as the people of Zimbabwe that we should, our voices must be heard. As you know, we are the ones who elected government into power and the government is there to serve the interests of the people. And the people are saying, whenever you are doing, uh, I mean, uh, entering into these contracts, what you need is to think and consider the plight and aspirations of the people. Mining community representatives from Mutoko also spoke out and said they were not deriving any benefits from the exploitation of granite in their area. Yes, it's to put us out to find some benefit. My natural resources, we are to any knowledge of what you know, but I'm Mutoko, you know, because I'm married, so that it's quite a pure marriage in Enderana, yes, you know, but I'm Mutoko. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. Members of the Gokwe Craft Center project who are HIV positive are appealing for support to help boost their output and market their products. Our reporter Robert Tafumane went to Gokwe to find out more. Varwere varukura na maniche varwere che HIV ne AIDS vagiremu na ronde Gokwe vanoti vano sanga na matambu zikuwa kasi na siana mukura na makuavu varwere ava vane imbaya vo ya varu tingesira zinzoka dai. Semishonga zivezwa pamwene kupama shoko kune vanenge vabatuwa vaine utachuwa na we HIV. ATV ya kashanyira musha uyu ikaona basa la varu kuita wakatawala ni mkuru waru. Tuno itazema yepsi ne canceling nozi savani utuandra la masei nechi mwere chiri kwechi cheshua matongo. Estani ndera mberachi tiva kaiza kutawala ni makurwe kukwe rural district council asia pana chaka buda chine pundu tomu. Madam Zigwa tu sanga na na wata chikumbi wa chikumbi wa chemba ebi inuei. Tasea kusakara kwa ya ita. E, Patakasi ya kikwa honi wa mwedu. Zakati ziki sirapasi. Tempo honi ni mbedi ya njiloka dia manguanda. E, Pakasi ya ika. Nguwa ya kune tazuni ya ya. 
Takavata fari guamvura ma geti. Ne nere la zati na zozi mweno nuku zimezaga si wani wana wedu. Saya zisha tina kana poku tangi la ipopanapa. Anendra mbira chiti kana wakona rubati roga kwa na zinu zavo zinu famba zakana kam. Ramangu na nere tika na 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 noti batira kwa ma 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 dona chayo chayo. Ramangu na nere raka jeka noti zumbe ni nini yuko runda ukitra ma project raka wanda wanda. Mungu we craft senda mno wano kwa jaka sena siyana. Jino batura wano varagula na mani utacho na uwe HIV ni AIDS muna raonda iyo. Mapreze duwe jino jedi sisu mshonga iduwe mno maidure. Noti toti no batura community. Vandura na mani utacho wana. Umo yura pa uyu. Ndiwe varume newa kazi. Varume ye jino varu shansa mapirisa wa epabo ndako. Na mai e yara vya wakada iku ariku watu ushanti sao. Havana simba, ano penza simba mwa rumi. Saka ya mashonga ya ruba tira wa rumi. Ni wa sato wa pinda pa ma ARV. Tino wa pa mishonga ya kutiva ajige. Ino busta maso jaukta wande mwuri. Kutara kuno sangano iri. Navini nengo zino shika zana ni gumi uye raka tangwa mugore la 1991. Ime nyaya ya itakuti sangano iri. Risangane ni matambu zima kawanda ndiye kuti vagarevi njimbo iyi. Vano rarama ni kurima duonje asigore rino chirimwa ichi. Hachina kutengwa ni mari yepa msoro. Javi kubawa umira jakare kuti wakwanze kuindi za wanavavo. Ndini mutorwe nawe ATV Robert Afmane, ndiri mkokwe Zimbabwe. Kings Pool Club is now at the top of the Bulawayo Pool League with 54 points after they beat Rayton Club. Melody Mukutu has more. Kings Pool Club maintained their dominance of the Bulawayo Pool League after they won 10-3 against Relton Pool Club recently. Kings now have 54 points, giving them a comfortable 21-point lead, according to the latest log standing. Dumisani Kodzai, who played for Kings, could not hide his excitement. Very happy, very excited. Uh, it was my second league game. Uh, the first one I lost, and this one I won. And I think I played the best guy from, from, from the opponent. And I did very well, and I'm happy for, for, for what I did. The chairman of King's Pool Club is confident that his side will defend their title. I'm feeling very happy. I, I feel great about my club. That's excellent. Because actually we are eyeing for the return of our title. We are the defending champions. King Pool Club have played 20 games and lost only two, while their counterparts Rotom Pool Club have played 20 and lost nine. Rotom have 33 points and positioned sixth on the pool league table. Reporting for ATV in Mulawayo, Zimbabwe. Having gone more than 20 games unbeaten, Highlanders failed to keep their pole position in the Castle Lager Premier League after a draw with Chicken Inn. Crispin Tavura was at the Barberfields Stadium for ATV. Highlanders blew away another opportunity to restore their lead on the log table after they were forced to a zero-all draw by a stubborn Chicken Inn in a midweek Castle Lager Premier League match played at Barberfield Stadium on Wednesday. Their bitter rivals, Dynamos, beat Harare City to extend their lead with two points ahead of Highlanders who dominated log table for the greater part of the year. Chicken Inn, who started off under pressure from the Chilamaya boys, proved too hot for the championship contenders after they nearly scored a few minutes towards the end of the first half. Zimbabwe fans at the match were elated by news of their team's victory in Harare. Surprisingly, the situation at Barberville Stadium looked more like a Dynamos versus Highlanders match than an encounter with Chicken Inn. Chicken Inn Football Club's assistant coach Manjampov commended his boys for a job well done. I, again, we wanted to congest midfield because the Islanders midfield have their, their strength. We managed to do that. In Tunis was well to be seen. We are able but overall, we are everyone uh, who played today he played very well. Yeah. Highlanders coach Kevin Kind was not deterred by the draw. 
for us to get a point, I think we are moving slowly. We are not concentrating on how other teams are playing. I think we are concentrating on our games, and I think a game like this for us to get a point, I think it's a bonus for us. Dynamos now lead the log table with 49 points, while their rivals, Islanders, are trailing behind with 47 points. I'm Chris Bentabra, reporting for ATV at Baba Cruz Stadium in Wulawayo, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.